Hey coach, so happy you found us on YouTube. A uh, couple things. First of all, make sure you go subscribe and like. That's really important. Second thing is make sure that you go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. It's a one-stop shop for basketball coaches. It's the Hulu, Netflix, Amazon Prime, whatever you want. It's got a little bit of everything, but it's also got a community of like-minded coaches will help you become a better basketball coach. Go over and check it out. Let's head off to the video. So this season has been a very interesting season for me because I, I was coaching third grade girls basketball and installing my four-man youth offense with my girls and realizing we were having some difficulty just getting the ball in to our offense. And really at this age, you really want to try to get your girls or boys to just push the basketball, floor spacing, just read the game and just have fun out there. You know, too, it's too often at these younger levels, people want to run all these set plays or they, they, they want to run the, a, a basic continuity offense. And really what I've noticed at, at the third grade level is just it's really about spacing uh, and uh, a little bit of uh, movement. So what I did is I took some of the action I used to run. I used to, when I was a high school coach, I, I ran the swing offense and sometimes we couldn't get the ball in because people would deny that first pass. And you see a lot of it right now. I watch a lot of high school high basketball games lately and college. Uh, you still have a lot of teams denying that, that first pass into people's offense because it really um, disrupts their flow. Uh, what I just did this year with my girls, and I'm going to shade this area right over here on my screen here to show – the action. We're going to do the action from the right side because, you know, most of our kids at younger ages are primarily dominant on the right side. Um, in our, my, my youth offense, I run a uh, my four out one in uh, this five man um, plays on the opposite side, So it's like almost like a, uh, a hybrid of the dribble drive and motion offense. Uh, I like the spacing. I like the direct drivings of this action. What I do here is then what I've noticed and, you know, I've seen people try to run third grade ball screens and all this action, it just becomes a big, big failure for most teams is just a simple, what you want to do here is simple action is you just teach your kids at a young age. I want you to basically make like a B cut and you give them distinct points of the action that you want from the player. Um, let me see here. I'm making a huge little, uh, come on. There's my little arrow here. Here we go. You want this player to make a cut by making a first cut there all right and then basically what you're doing here oh my goodness what i do here <laughs> uh you by making this arrow um i apologize here but hey we're we're just basketball coaches here at teachhoops.com uh just still <laughs> learning all this technology stuff even at um after several years of coaching. So we're just creating a basic V cut. And as that, that V cut action happens, your point guard is just going to take the ball and he or she is going to dribble to the strong side of the floor um, um, or, uh, or the, the, the side that uh, the player has decided to cut and that you do want to do attack and basically they're interchanging space. After the interchange space, then what you really have is an opportunity for a direct drive um, for um, primarily a point guard that's right-handed at younger levels that you can get a good shot in. Um, and so basically you want to get as many shots up at, at the young, young levels. And this is a great way of interchanging space and getting movement going. And then if I go here and I do a fast build here and I'm going to overwrite it and you can see now, now this three is going to interchange the one and now this one, I'll get rid of this now. Interchange the one. Now this one can attack and go right to the rim, which a lot of time my strong girls that could handle the ball, they would interchange space and they would get a nice, easy layup opportunity. Also, you have the five man right here just waiting for that dump down. Um, and at this age, you know, uh, really the action should look more like this at the high school level. That person would attack. The five would get to the T and then this person would drift to the corner. Um, but like at younger levels, I like this action better where I keep the five there because that girl has this option here to make that pass to the player on the block or that four. I encourage that four player, the opposite player um, to cut in. So you have a little easy jump shot. And we've gotten opportunities from the drive 
the kick to the five, uh, uh, the, the the dish to the five, and then the kick to the four. Um, and so that because at this age, most players are still just focusing on guarding their man. Their help side confidence concepts aren't um, there yet. This is a great opportunity for get some really good action and to alleviate uh, pressure and turnovers at a very young age. Uh, so this is my um, exchange space action. Um, it's just a nice little way to get into our offense and get an easy bucket without screening. Hey, coach. So glad you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed it a lot. Actually, if you did, subscribe and like, and then go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better.